Exercise and physical activity can present some challenges for children with type 1 diabetes when it comes to blood glucose management. Exercise is healthy and important for all children. Physical activity can help children with T1D to lower their A1C and help improve overall health. Exercise can also help with weight management, better sleep, and reducing the risk of some diseases. Physical activity doesn't just mean exercise and play. It can also refer to any activity that gets the heart rate up, including theater, yard work, or an after-school job. We recommend that people with T1D stay as active as people without diabetes. Many people with T1D worry about how physical activity can cause hypoglycemia, or dangerously low blood glucose levels. However, any risk of hypoglycemia can be managed with proper precautions before the activity and with appropriate reactions during and after the activity. Planning ahead and knowing how blood glucose and body will respond to exercise can help keep blood glucose from going too low or too high. Different activities can cause different reactions, so people with T1D may need to use multiple strategies depending on their body's response to a particular activity. The blood glucose's reaction to exercise can change for several reasons, including the blood glucose level before starting the activity, the intensity of the activity, the length of time or duration you are active, any changes made to regular insulin doses, factors outside of your control, like the temperature. Because blood glucose can be unpredictable during exercise, it's important to check the blood glucose before, during, and after activities to avoid any out-of-range blood glucose values. Even the same activity can cause different reactions in two people with T1D. Some activities will cause lows quickly, and others might cause lows that show up later even hours after finishing the exercise. Some activities can even cause highs or a combination of both highs and lows. This is why it's so important to monitor your blood glucose before, during, and after these activities. And be sure to have carbohydrates on hand to prepare for any unpredictable reactions. To learn how different types of activity affect blood glucose values, there may be some trial and error involved. For example, increased activity might mean that it's okay to lower the normal insulin dose before the activity, give extra uncovered carbs, or continue the normal routine and monitor for changes in the blood glucose. Certain activities, like sprinting or fast-paced sports, can cause the blood glucose to rise due to adrenaline. The added sugars in the blood from adrenaline may stick around after the activity if there's not enough insulin to balance it. Even though these added sugars can cause high blood glucose values, it's best to wait a short amount of time before treating any hyperglycemia after exercise to see how the blood glucose will react. It's still okay to give insulin to cover carbs, but it's best to refrain from giving a correction dose immediately. There is a risk that the high blood glucose is only temporary and giving insulin to treat it could cause the blood glucose to plummet. After a particularly intense activity, it's important to monitor blood glucose for the following 24 hours. Children might be more sensitive to insulin during this time period. In addition to a normal bedtime blood glucose check, we recommend checking the blood glucose again overnight, around midnight to 3 a.m. It's possible that carbohydrates will need to be given so it's a good idea to have something easy to eat or drink nearby to treat any lows overnight. The amount of times that blood glucose checks are needed overnight depend on the intensity and the duration of the activity that was done, as well as the individual's previous experience with hypoglycemia after exercise. Over time, with practice, you'll have a better idea of what to expect from exercise and how to treat the blood glucose afterwards. In the next video, we'll give you some tips on how to exercise with T1D and prepare for some of the unpredictable blood glucose behaviors.